Sometimes I think about the dreams I picked. Is it possible recognize it since I was six? Maybe part of me just wants to see if I were quick as life for me. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy PJ2 Hot here. I'm back from the video, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the Gigabyte RTX 33080. It's the OC edition. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we already know the story of these 30, 3080 launch. It was absolutely horrendously bad. It was like extremely bad along, along with the 3090. Nobody really stood a chance. Uh, if you hear anything in my background, that's my dog and everything like that. So, um, I just thought, hey, yes, I got it. You know, um, I had to get it off of eBay. Um, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys the price I spent. <laughs> you know, so uh, um, I I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't spend over $2,000. Let me just say that. I did not. So, uh, but yeah. Anyways, because like me, I'm, I'm very impatient. I can't wait. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, bump the waiting. Get it now. And then right after I get it, I hear about these over, these uh, crashing issues. So fingers crossed for me that this one doesn't do the same. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing. Uh man. Uh I can't find my name box cutter, which is what I usually use to do unboxings with. Cannot find it for some particular reason. I don't know where it is at. There we go. Ah, man. There we go. Get to it, yes, the Gigabyte OC Edition 10 gigs of video RAM, which is, uh, I know a lot of people, including me, was expecting more from the 3080, because, like, I was originally getting the 3090, but... I had it pre-ordered, the, the Zotec one, it was on Amazon, I had it pre-ordered, and it was like 2500 and I was like, yeah, as a last resort, I'll get that one, and then it just came up, the the performance to me just wasn't worth that actual, like, no, $2,000, especially for a Zotec, that's a lower brand, and, and I'm a Gigabyte fan, I like like Gigabyte and Orus, whatever, however you say they're premium brand, like on like on like Gigabyte's premium gaming brand, which is like Orus or whatever. I always say it wrong. I botch that name all the time, so it is what it is. But um, yeah. So yeah, I decided to get this. I, I set up for this. I saw it on eBay for a price that I didn't mind spending. You know, what I mean, for, for a thirty eighty at least. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see, it comes with RGB, which is just, which is just the logo on the side, and uh, so here's the front, here's the back, here's the side. But anyways, though, let's unbox this. Uh, let's see how... Oh, shoot. All right. So we got it right here. I like Gigabyte. I, I, I just like Gigabyte's brand. I like their packaging. I like how their cards look. You know, I just think... Uh, uh, I just think that Gigabyte is my favorite brand out there. So, yeah. Come with the box. There's another uh, Gigabyte 3082. It's the Eagle version. That junk looks ugly to me. I think it's because of that blue that they put on there. And I don't like that. So here's the uh, it's a folder. I'm assuming it's like a oh, the four year warranty, which I don't know if I got it. You know, <laughs> since I didn't uh, get it off actual new egg itself. Uh, but you can register it. Uh, we'll see if I can what I can do on that. Right. Is that Orus? Yeah. If I was to get a 3090, it would be, you know, a, a, a Gigabyte's premium brand, like Orus' uh, Extreme Edition or Master's Edition that they got. Those would be the ones that I would get. So, if I was to ever get a 3090, I would wait for those cards to come out. So, yeah. Oh, uh, man. All right. So, here's the card itself. Wrapped in its plastic so this is actually a big card to let you guys know this card is huge oh man so oh this yeah this card is huge uh so yeah here's the card itself 
they actually have a cutout for SLI but because of these uh, cards these 3080s the first ones do not have an SLI uh, but it still has the cutout for it and so you know the 3090 version of this card is pretty much exactly the same they just use the same print so you know but that's gonna have um, the SLI links so yeah here's the uh, back plate of the card right here which is pretty cool to me the back plate um, the RGB which I'm trying to make sure I don't I ain't trying to alright there you go the RGB this is the only section right here that lights up the gigabyte logo is the RGB that lights up any color you want I think there's a light here, right here to you there's a light right here on the corner you can see it on this corner right here that lights up as well so that lights up and the gigabyte logo will turn any color that you want it to you know so that's good um fans are better so yeah it's, it's a it, 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 this card is thick as far as like right here so yeah it's definitely going to sag in the uh case but luckily i have a stand that can kind of mount it up a little bit so that way it doesn't sag but yeah uh it doesn't matter to me as long as this card works and performs and does everything the way it should do i don't care right so yeah i just thought i'd show you guys the card right here uh it's definitely i'm sorry if this camera keep going blurry i apologize for that um I'm definitely excited to try this. I'm going to play Mafia Remake, and I'm definitely going to be playing uh, Call of Duty 2 just to see the frame difference that I get. Definitely will uh, probably like upload some tests for you guys to see how this performs with my setup. So, yeah, um, definitely this was a major upgrade for my PC that I was doing. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this unboxing. I know it wasn't much, but when you're unboxing cars, it really isn't much. It's just a car, you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyways, though, uh, this was an unboxing for the Gigabyte Gaming well like okay let me go rephrase that but anyways though this was an unboxing for the gigabyte geforce rtx 3080 gaming oc edition uh this your boy pj2 hot peace what if i faded would it really matter a common factor i contemplate do you know what's after the situation is strong like it's a marathon so reruns every day you get tired